No, I don't like that. <laughs> okay. Could you... <laughs> I'll just scoot back. I'm leaning in. You've got your back to me. Is that the message you want to send to people? I'll give you kisses. Come here. <laughs> Lean in. Kiss the hand. <laughs> no, don't. Hey guys, it's Wendy and Mauricio again for video number two Q&A. And so we're going to keep on answering your questions. So let's jump on in. The next question is, what type of education do you and Mauricio have? Do you have degrees? If so, where did you go to school? Love seeing your debt-free journey. Thanks. Both Mauricio and I have college degrees. I went, I have a master's degree in forensic science and Mauricio has a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. The next question is, what are some of your favorite cookbooks? Okay, you're going to laugh when I say this, but I actually hate cookbooks. I love cookbooks, but I hate them because they take up space and, and I don't like clutter at all, at all. So 99.9% .9 of the recipes I have are digital. And I have been known to, I am not even kidding you, I have about a million cookbooks where I have taken pictures of the recipe and gotten rid of the cookbooks. Now, if I had to say my favorite cookbooks, I are like more bloggers. Like there's one Colombian one I love. I love it's, um, I think it's Dulce Salado, sweet and salty, um, is one of my favorite Colombian cooker bloggers that I absolutely love. And you have a barbecue guy that you follow on YouTube that you really like. Who's that? Malcolm Barbecue Right, something like that. That guy's from Texas. Yeah, Mauricio loves following, uh, learning barbecue techniques on, on YouTube. So what are your jobs? Okay, I can't answer this. Mauricio can't answer this. We have an agreement with our jobs that we will not discuss where we work and they will let us keep our jobs. <laughs> so we don't discuss that online, but I am in federal law enforcement and Mauricio is a contractor. True Financials asks... Happy 10 years. This is a question you both can answer. What's your biggest pet peeve that the other spouse does? My biggest pet peeve about Mauricio, it's gotta be the leg. His leg is constantly going like this. And when I sit next to him, well, not right now. <laughs> Stop looking at your leg. He's always. <laughs> Except for right now, because it's stretched out to the side on the bed. But when I sit next to him in the movie theater or at church or whatever, his leg's going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And it drives me insane. And I'm like, stop it. So what's your biggest pet peeve? When you drink me? that tea in the morning and we get in the car. <laughs> you don't like tea breath? Oh. And then you have a conversation. You turn around and I hate tea. And just the smell. And then we drink in the morning. Is that <laughs> the tea breath? I hate tea. <laughs> Next question. Ready, set, go, asks. Love you guys and your hair looks fabulous. Why, thank you. That's actually like the number one comment I get on most of my videos is my hair looks good. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, Mauricio, stylist to the stars, does my hair. Well, he doesn't curl it or straighten it. I do that, but he colors it, trims it. Number one, who is the pretty white doggy in the background? That is Bill, also known as Billio. He is my parents' white German shepherd. Believe. Number two, what do you do to keep your relationship strong while paying off debt? Lock the guns. <laughs> Lock the guns. We try not to kill each other. Don't just then your video's gonna get demonetized. We set goals that we both agree on. So we set and it's like, okay, this is where we wanna go. This is where we wanna be. And then we both agree on that and we're hundred percent sure this is what we want. That works a lot. Because if you both are looking for different stuff, then it's not going to work. Yeah, I would agree with that for sure. I would think another thing, surprisingly, is driving to work together and driving home. Do you think that helps or does not help? Because I feel like we chat a lot more and we're on the same page when we're in the car together. Yeah, sure. That's what you want to do. <laughs> Mauricio does not think that us being in the car together is beneficial to our relationship. Apparently, he's much happier commuting by himself. 
Number four, what is the great lesson you've learned while paying off debt? Thanks so much for making your life public. Love watching you and you inspire me. Oh, you're so awesome that we can actually do it. I think is the greatest lesson I've learned. I don't know. Two years ago, I wouldn't have thought we would have been able to pay off as much debt as we have. No, yeah. Well, no, for me, it's um, the, that um, finances can really screw up your marriage. That is true. And, um, and, uh, and, 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 and that um, not being able, like having a lot of debt really limit it, it. It keeps you from enjoying stuff that really helps have a healthy relation, uh, marriage, happy marriage. Like you know, doing family stuff like uh, like me having two jobs and and all of that and and not being able to spend a lot of time at home doing stuff with the family <clears throat> or not having the money to do stuff with the family doing uh, not everything uh, you know requires money but to shoot a lot of stuff that you can enjoy really requires money but uh yeah finances you gotta be really careful because it, it really can destroy a marriage that is really true i completely agree with that kimmy ray asks what songs from high school do you still jam out to when you hear them and what is your favorite smell and why high school songs i went to high school in the 80s and Melina has recently taken to listening to several 80s songs, and it just makes me laugh. I am a huge fan of, like, Motley Crue. Gotta say Motley Crue. I was a big hair band girl. I really was. What about you? They're not gonna know. Yes, Ooh. they are. There are several people, actually, who speak Spanish that watch my videos. This, this Mexican band, rock band, actually, Mana. M-A-N-A. -A. I am a big fan of Mana. What is your favorite smell? Not my, tea. My feet? <laughs> uh, the, 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 the story. The Yankee candle. Yeah. Uh, we have a lilac yan Yankee candle that I used to burn in. I, I had just gotten it when I was living in Bogota. And the first time you came over, right? And, oh, I thought you were going to finish the story. Oh, so, uh, okay. No, the, uh, the lilac candle, yeah. janky candle stuff. Uh, the first time I visited her apartment in Bogota, other than being scared by the dog, <laughs> the 100 I, pound dog. Yeah, I had a pit bull boxer mix. <laughs> opened the door, it caused me just very friendly, you know, jumped to greet me, and I thought that he was going to kill me. <laughs> because that's the impression a 100 pound dog <laughs> gives you, you know. Yeah, I miss Koski. I miss Koski too. Um, and then she had that on, and and it just uh, and it just a light. I mean, I liked it a lot. I was like, oh, it smells really good. And then it, it, it is. I guess it's not only the smell of it, but the story behind. You know what happened, and that's the first time we saw the dogs and all of that. So that's yeah. my favorite smell. Yeah, that was our first date thing. It wasn't really a date. Was it a date? It was a date. I wouldn't. I, no, I I said the I I have the email actually for that. And um, that I wanted, I came up there to just go for a walk with the dogs. Oh, uh, yeah, we had gone out to dinner. I had taken you to that restaurant. Oh, it was a dinner too? I said, let's, let's go yeah, for a we walk went, and, then, we... and then dinner, something like that. No, didn't we go to the restaurant first? Or no, did we? Maybe well, that's two different times. No, I think that after the restaurant, we went out for a walk with the dogs. But, uh, no, because we went to that club. That they lost power in the club. And then we kissed. Yeah. <laughs> We're kind of grossed out by that now. <laughs> We're not that kind of We are now. not romantic people at all. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, that killed it. Have your family members taken the MBTI personality test? If so, what types are you? Okay, so neither one of us know off the top of our heads which ones we are, but we have both taken it, and I will overlay the the results for you as to what are personality types. In case you didn't guess, we're both extroverts. Shocking. I'm not an extrovert. You are very much an extrovert. <laughs> so this next question, like 10 people asked me. I'm not even joking. Are we having planning on having more kids? No. Nope. I am 46. There ain't no more babies. No. Um, we did want to have more than one child, but I 
could not. And us not. It was risky, and I and she was, wanted. She could have, but I said no. Yeah. Well, I said no too. No, you said yes. Actually, you wanted. I, I did want to have another kid, but I had a doctor basically tell me I could have another kid and both those kids might not have a mom or I could have one kid and have a mom that was still alive. I mean, it was that blunt. So we opted to stop having children at one. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.